San Jose city officials touting the success of a new program designed to move people from homelessness to full-time employment and then into permanent housing. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live along the Guadalupe River near downtown San Jose tonight with why officials say expansion here is needed with this program. Jesse, good evening. Mike, good evening to you. The banks of the Guadalupe River, just beyond the trees behind me, sites where there are homeless encampments and with those encampments, trash and litter. Earlier today, Mayor Matt Mahan and others cleared away a lot of that trash and debris as a way of showing how well the SJ Bridge Program is working. Under the heat of a midday sun, San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan leading the way to clear trash from the Guadalupe River Trail. This progress highlights the people who are part of a new program geared to help the unhoused reclaim their lives. We want to empower people. We want to invest in people. We want to create opportunities for those who are willing and able to work their way off the streets to something better. The year old SJ Bridge program, which is also called Strive, recruits unhoused residents to work 20 hours per week cleaning up the city. The $18.50 an hour salary is used for city provided temporary housing. At the end of the 90 day program, participants can apply for full time work with places such as Tesla, Goodwill, Santa Clara County, and San Jose's airport. So far, 100 people have gone through the program, with 46 now fully employed. If anybody here wants to change their life, they got the opportunity through the Strive program. It's getting you away from these people that's out here on these streets doing drugs, it's getting you out of the woods. You know, the, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. San Jose has some 6,000 unhoused residents. The COVID pandemic exacerbated encampments that now spread from east to west and south to north. These residents fear a posted abatement sign for this week means they'll soon be pushed out of this area near a golfing center in Alviso. Uh, puts me in a bad spot. I have, you know, with no job and no place to go. Puts me in a bad spot. I, don't, I have no idea what's going on here. Every day changes. Ronnie Jones says he'll move his 12-foot trailer around the corner and back if needed to comply with the abatement. There's no place I can go, <laughs> unless it is really far. Mayor Mahan says he's asking for $3.5 million in his next fiscal budget to expand the bridge program and possibly a path to stability for more of the city's unhoused. We're seeing that it's working, so we want to see how much we can scale that. The mayor says his budget request would double the size of the program, which he says is cost effective. He claims it costs $30,000 for each program participant and $65,000 to handle the problems associated with each unhoused resident in the city. We're live in the College Park section of San Jose this evening. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Mike, we'll head back to you up in Oakland. 46 out of 100 now fully employed. It's great to hear about those success stories tonight. Jesse, appreciate it. The San Francisco Board